begin the operation. Our goal is to remove polyps, correct? The polyps are formed mainly in the small and large intestines. The large intestine is wider, but there should still be peristaltic motion. It will try to push the endoscope back, so it may be somewhat difficult to proceed. More peristaltic. Well, they talked about peristaltic motion earlier, but... There's a polyp. Let's get the snare into position. Area. Are you having? Mm. We seem to be too far away from the affected area. Are you having trouble? Decision complete. Let's treat the other polyps as well. Wow, it's been so long since I've done an endoscopy that I forgot how to do them. <laughs> this is going to be so terrible. This is noticeable now. I've got to go through here quickly. Cool. We're the area with peristaltic movement. Let's proceed. Oh, uh... Large intestine have been treated. Dr. 
Tachibana, you seem rather tired. Perhaps we should halt the procedure and have someone else take over. Oh, uh, no. I'm sorry. What am I doing? The small intestine needs to be treated next, correct? I need to get a grip and continue. You know what? I'm gonna pump vitals first, I think. Just in case I hit the wall. the wrong way. I really need to pay attention. I think I literally just went backwards through the large intestine. <laughs> much narrower and much curvier because from what I can tell you have to go close enough to the wall that you'll make it past the turn but not so close to the wall that you hit it The motion controls make this a lot harder than I'm making it look. Did I make it? No, not yet. Oh, there's more polyps. This... There's a polyp buried within the inner wall. Let's cause it to protuberate by injecting medicine, then excise it using the snare. The affected area has risen. Let's begin treating it with the snare. There's a hemorrhaging area. Please perform hemostasis on it. to treat here. Let's move on. 
really. I have to deal with this crap now. Great. I guess there is this little difficulty spike I was talking about, and I almost hit the wall there. We're through the area with peristaltic movement. Cool. Let's proceed. I'm below 50. Oh, there's so many of them. Dr. Tachibana, will you be alright? They won't be any problem at all. The small intestine has many twists and turns. We'll have to take care to avoid the walls. Hmm, seems we're too far away. Let's get closer before continuing. That was a little too close. Back away just a little bit. Peristaltic movement. Fantastic. Jeez, there's a lot more of it than in the large intestine, also. Although that shouldn't be surprising. How much more of this is left? Whew. We're through the area with peristaltic movement. Let's proceed. I think I can see some blips on my radar. Where there's where there's ooh, that's ugly. This polyp. It's become malignant and turned into a tumor. I'm glad we were able to find it. Beginning excision. Removing tumors is similar to dealing with polyps. Inject medicine into the area until it protuberates, then excise it. After that, we can remove it. We're going to excise along the markers. I'll need the scalpel. I guess I gotta be quick with this, huh? Let's make incisions along the guidelines of the scalp to excise the tumor in multiple phases. It's mostly detached now. Let's excise the remainder using the snare. There we go, that's one. It's mostly detached now. Let's excise the remainder using the snare. Hemorrhaging has occurred. Let's perform hemostasis. Getting a little bit better at hemostasis, but not much. The affected area has risen. Let's begin treating it with the snare. Dude. 
knew I missed one. The excised area has begun hemorrhaging. I'll use the hemostatic force. That completes this operation. Unexpected surprise. Wow, that was pretty long. Indeed. I'm glad we were able to safely perform the treatment, though. Dr. Tachibana, are you really alright? Yes, I'm alright. Wonder what kind of time limit there is on this one. Oh, there is no time limit. Skills. Oh, there's no need to be disappointed. You did save a life after all. Oh, that was a mess. 